Hello, I'm Melissa Wu. Thank you so much for hiring me to be your realtor. It's my honor and privilege to serve you. So now that we have signed the paperwork, let's get started. We have some preparation work to do. So number one is, as we mentioned earlier, we should prepare for a pre-inspection. Would you like to do a pre-inspection? Pre-inspection is uh, we hire a professional license inspector to look at the whole house from top to bottom, from attic to boiler, to drain tiles, to checking all the faucets, uh, sinks underneath the sinks, if there's any leak, uh, appliances, they would check everything from anywhere between two to five hours, depending on the size of the house, they would check the property. So that typically it's about anywhere from like $700 to about $1,000. And we would cover that. Uh, we would cover that and we will pay that uh, at the end of the uh, completion. So let me know if you would like to book a pre-inspection. So definitely I recommend that. Um, if you don't want to do the pre-inspection yet or you feel like uh, you um, able to do it on your own, so I recommend you go through a checklist. I recommend you go through a checklist and I will send that to you. You can check the house yourself and just take it off. Uh, typically, I recommend we do some preparation, including the exterior of the home, uh, include the power wash, clean up the front yard. Most of the time, I recommend cleaning the yard. Keep it clean and tidy and maintained and trimmed. If there are overgrown uh, plants, bushes, trees, we just trim them all down. If you would like a contact for landscaping and cleaning and a power washing, I have a contact for you. Just let me know and I can send that to you. So that's the exterior of the home. In the uh, spring season, when flowers are blooming, I also recommend plant some flowers. Plant some flowers so the house looks energized, beautiful and pretty and inviting. So that's the spring. In the summer, I think the flowers will continue to grow. We just keep on um, maintaining the yard. If you have some patio sets in the summer, I recommend we have those out, but keep it clean and tidy. In the fall in Vancouver, when it rains and lots of leaves, so make sure we keep the yard clean. If there's lots of leaves fallen, we wanna just blow them away. And uh, so the house looks clean and tidy and well-maintained uh, by the owner. So those are some of the things we need to do on the exterior of the home because oftentimes a buyer will drive by right they might drive by at night or in the morning before or after work just to look at the outside just to check out the area and that's normal it is a big purchase so the buyer may be driving around and take a look at the outside before they go to the inside so very important to have the exterior of the home clean and tidy and uh, inviting okay so that's and if the, you see if there's a roof it has moss or or, um, it looks very dated then you know we need to get the roof clean as well roof we need to clean it and the gutters we need to clean it so let me know if you need a handyman or a roofer cleaner so I can connect you so now uh, when we go inside the home so uh, some of the things you could manually check yourself if you're handy then definitely try to look after those for example if we see holes in the wall uh, we just fill it uh, we can get some pink putty kind of like pink drywall, and you can just fill holes in the wall. So depersonalize, if there are personal photos like this, we would just take them all down. So depersonalize, declutter, and if there are any holes in the wall, go to Home Depot, buy a $5 pink wet drywall, and get a spatula, and just fill in the um, nails, uh, nail holes on the walls. So that's very important. And if we see any uh, tile cracks, we buy a can of grout and uh, we just grout it yeah just do some general maintenance if you have a situation maybe take a short video or photo and bring it to home depot um, they will tell you what to do i love home depot so um, that's some of the maintenance part of the home because we want to prepare our home when we get an offer to get an unconditional offer if we don't prepare and we get an offer and the buyer has an inspection and they find a whole bunch of like minor things it doesn't look good and make the buyer sometimes the sometimes some of the inspection report actually scare away the buyer so that could happen and we don't want that to happen so we want to make sure we prepare in advance so we can have a smooth sale right okay very good so now uh, the interior home we went through we had a walkthrough we check our uh, sinks and we check you know a service check and now 
declutter. Declutter is very important. So oftentimes when a home is very well lived in, we have a lot of items, right? So we just go through um, typically all um, kitchen. Kitchen area, we just try to declutter uh, or you know, if things that you have not used in years or things that you don't often use, we go to Home Depot or we go to Canadian Tire, we buy boxes, right? We buy boxes and a lot of boxes and we store them and we label them and then we stack them, right? Stack them in a storage area or stack them in the garage. So then your home looks um, more spacious. It's very important to have a home that shows well and looks spacious. If you have too many things everywhere, then sometimes a buyer may not be able to see the space. They cannot imagine themselves living in it or they cannot see the space. Oftentimes when a buyer come in to view your home, um, what happens is they only have 10-15 minutes, right? So when they come in, the first almost like couple minutes, they will know whether they love the home, whether they uh, feel good in the home. So we want to make sure we capture a very good first impression by making the home uh, inviting. Inviting and the buyer fall in love. So once you depersonalize and declutter, we can do some, if you're still living in the home, we will do some uh, uh, complimentary uh, staging, soft staging. So we arrange, um, we, are, we can do some rearranging for you, or um, I recommend uh, some things you may want to do yourself. For example, is we get some white, uh, white flat sheets. White flat sheets from Winners or Canadian Tire. Um, it's basically a white flat sheet and you cover all the beds in white. So why I recommend white is it looks fresh, clean and crisp and new. It has a feeling of uh, fresh, clean and nice, right? So it's white and clean and pure. So get white flat sheets to cover all the beds. Sometimes uh, too many colors is distracting to the buyer. So we just want to keep it clean and fresh. And we get some white towels, white towels uh, for the bathrooms and uh, some white uh, wipes. Uh, white towels, uh, kitchen wipes. So white towels in the kitchen, white towels in the bathroom and clear all the kitchen counters, clear all the kitchen counters, clear all the bathroom counters. Uh, we can go to the dollar store or Home Depot again to get some see-through um, shoe boxes and put everything in a box. Put everything in a box and stack them and then label them and store them underneath the kitchen counter. So when you use them, you can just pull the whole box out. When we have a showing, you can just put the whole box uh, hide them so we can look organized we can look spacious and we can look inviting and the buyer will fall in love the buyer will fall in love with your home and make you a great offer make you a great offer so all the efforts actually is to make the buyer fall in love with your home and excited and imagine themselves moving in so they will write because buying is emotional buying is emotional we want them to fall in love Okay, so that's the preparation. So hope you can help us. Um, and during showings, showing is very, very important be because remember, the showing is only about typically anywhere depending on the size of the home between like 10 to 20 or 30 minutes. That's it. So we want to make sure the home is well prepared, right? So depersonalize, declutter, and now when it's show time, we want to turn on all the lights like this nice and bright, lots of lights. And if you are, if you've been cooking, then definitely we want to open the windows. We want to burn some candles or spray, spray some uh, air freshener, spray some air freshener, open the windows and have some, if you're able to have some fresh flowers, if not, then we can have orchid. A white orchid is always a very elegant and inviting and beautiful. So those are the items we can kind of make the house and help us to show the house better. So definitely when we come, we will turn on all the lights. And uh, if, if you give us a key, then we will open the door and uh, we will lock all the door. We'll double check that we lock all the doors. So don't worry. Uh, so you can take a walk, take a walk and let us show the home. It's very important that we let the buyer, you know, feel free to walk around because they are now imagining themselves living in the home. So it's best if the owner just go take a walk, give us the key or we can lock it up for you or open for us and come 
come back to lock up. So when we come, we will come about five, 10 minutes earlier to see if there's anything we need to you know, make the house look tidier or prettier, but usually please help us. That would really um, be appreciated. And turn on all the lights, we'll turn on all the lights. And when we leave, we'll turn off all the lights and lock up, right? And of course we have our masks and our sanitizers and we will provide, um, if the buyer or buyer agent doesn't have it, we will provide them with the mask and sanitizer so you can feel uh, comfortable. Thank you so much for watching this preparation video. And also, in addition to the preparation work, so please find if the property has uh, these paperwork. If it is a new house, we will need the survey certificate. If you have it, please email it to us. The floor plan, uh, if it's a new house, typically it has the drawings. Please email that to us. Uh, 2510 new home warranty, 2510 new home warranty. And um, occupancy permit occupancy permit so these items please email it to us so typically a uh, buyer may request for it for them uh, when they're very interested and when they want to write an offer and we will have that all prepared and sent to them another additional item if you can help us is write down the list of the renovation please write down the list of the renovation that you've done to the home or any extra features that you would like us to mention to the buyer you know sometimes we, we don't see everything so please help us and write the whole list down and then we can you know communicate that to the buyer or potential buyer and the buyer agent and another additional item is if you have rental agreement if you have rental agreement or rent amount and how long the tenant has been living there and how many tenants please uh, prepare some information for us. It's best if you can email it to us. Then that way we have it handy because uh, it's very important. Sometimes it helps with the mortgage, right? So if the buyer is qualifying for mortgage, if we have good rental income or some rental income, it will help them to pre-qualify for mortgage. So rental income information, please have that for us. So now we are all prepared and ready to sell your home for top dollar. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers! Hello, I'm Melissa Wu. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, share it with your family and friends, and smash the like button. Thank you. 你好,我是胡简龙。如果你喜欢这个video的话,请你 subscribe to 我们的YouTube channel, 然后跟大家分享,还要给我一个赞。谢谢。你好,我是胡锦龙。如果你喜欢这个video的话,请你 subscribe to 我们的YouTube channel,跟大家分享,还有点个赞。多谢。